rappers. For one music star in Ghana, creating popular melodies are just the beginning. To me, music is like a service to these people because the words we sing and the things we say are the same things that we and them go through. I go by the name Stone Boy, aka Livingston H. Santa Clara. Once more, Stone Boy, aka Stone God, aka Meme Nation President, and this is my Africa. He's just 29, but his trophy case is already pretty full. In 2015, he won Best International Act, Africa, at the BET Awards in America. And he cleaned up at the Ghana Music Awards, winning Song, Album and Artist of the Year. He started rapping underground in high school and he was discovered after performing in rap competitions on a popular radio program. That got him signed to a label, and it's been a skyward trajectory ever since. His style of music is hard to pin down to just one genre. He's dancehall, reggae, and Afropop, all in one package. At this point in my career, Afrobeats have been accepted to a certain level where everybody's jumping up to it. Reggae music has always been the foundation that will bring you that good feeling also, same way. So I, me, I'm a jack of it all, you know, because music is music. I get inspired by all sorts of different sounds. Welcome to my home studio. This is where everything goes on. This is where I pick my vocals, this is where I make sure that I put lyrics to most beautiful beats that I get across the world and I tweak and turn every knob over here by myself, you know what I mean, so I'm always involved in the process and the progress of it. Take me away from the sorrows, take me away from the flying, I'm just a little innocent soul, yo, I don't have to pay for the price. So basically I love to write about everything. Peace, love, war, anger, everything that you can think of. Because these are the same things that we discuss as people. These are the same things that bring us joy. These are the same issues that bring us sadness. These are the same issues that makes life. Stone Boy is beloved in Ghana for his music. But his path to stardom was not without its challenges. I had an accident before I got into senior high school. so. I was also dealing with having to be not physically fit to also keep the focus on the music, you know. I see smiles all up on your faces. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. His own struggles helped shape his foundation, where he works to put disadvantaged kids through school and raise money for those struggling with disabilities. Livingston Foundation seeks to, you know, cut around all these ends and avail itself to help because I think that it's, it's all about livelihood, it's all about, it's all about people. He donates his time too, going to visit his old stomping grounds. Livingston was an introvert type, he was a calm, very intelligent, he wouldn't talk in class. When people were playing around, he was cool, you know. So I'm even so surprised the way he the master stage. The boy I taught has now excelled so far. We can go. So most often we take this stage for like for a joke sometimes. Like we don't care. It's not me. I just have to go to school and my mother will pay the fees and da 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 da. But when you're smart and you realize that it all it always has to begin from this point, you know, into the future, you take every level serious. So all I'm begging of you is to see this visit of mine as one of the visits to, to more of them to come because this is just the be beginning and nothing happens before it's time. His foundation also puts on an annual benefit concert in his hometown. Today is a very special day you know, in the life of Stoneboy and 
in my career because this is the fourth year we're running this event that we do annually for my community because this is where I'm from, for my city of Shaiman. Once you come from Ashaiman, you know, there's like a stigma to who you are already. So I believe that this is what I can do to sort of serve as a give back to community. I believe that I do not have it all and all in all, but I can share what I have. What amazes me is the response that I get, you know, after serving my people with a creative piece, you know, and how they react even teaches me, you know, so it's like a give and get situation. You know, my wish is to still be in the hearts and in the minds of the people, you know, when after I'm no more. Take me away from the While he keeps an eye on the future, through his music career and his charitable efforts, he makes sure to stay in the moment. You have to take it as it comes because they say life is what we're living, wishing for other things. My mother would always make you know that. Not wrong if you wish for, but make sure you're not lost in the wishes. So that's the best advice I know. So I take everything that I'm doing now as seriously as I can.